Hey there guys, thanks for joining us on another board game night. Tonight we are playing a little game called Dark Dealings. It's designed by Michael D. Kelly from Nevermore Games. And with me I have Molo and Martin and Carla and myself Jason. And uh, we're going to give you a basic overview on how to play Dark Dealings. So first we'll give you some rough idea of how the game works with some basic rules. Uh, and then we'll come back to you with a gameplay turn where we'll show us live playing the game as we're playing through this game. And then once we're done with the game, we'll come back with a, a verdict and tell you who won and what we thought of the game. Okay, so Dark Dealings has kind of two or three phases to the game. The first thing we're going to do is the hero phase. So each person gets dealt out nine of these hero cards. And we're going to draft out eight of them. And what we're looking for mainly at the moment is the first half of the game is this number at the bottom here. Uh, this is kind of like the challenge value, or, or the way I look at it is currency. Uh, the higher the number, the more currency you get. And the reason why that's relevant is because in the, what we're going to do is this deck of traps and spells and minions and various other little gadgets, we're going to be basically placing eight out, because there's four of us, so it's two per player, uh, out onto the, the middle of the table here. And then we're going to place two of these heroes down each turn to basically purchase traps and spells to stop these heroes from coming into our dungeon and kicking our butts. So to do that, we obviously have to draft out some of the, the wizards and knights and stuff. And the information on the card is quite relevant as well. So this number up at the top here tells you their armor. So this wizard has an armor of four and it can only be defeated by traps. And he has an ability as well, which is trash and defense before striking. So I'll explain that in a minute. So what we're looking at, he's quite a high, got quite a high value here. So that's going to be good to buy traps with, or spells or minions. But the problem is he's quite hard to defeat. He can only be defeated by traps. And he's, he's quite good at destroying your defenses before you even get a chance to do anything. So I could pass this on to someone else and let them deal with it. Or I could draft some traps and buy some traps with him to stop him from killing me. So that's what you've got to think about on your turn. So we're going to draft 8 of these, and then we're going to use them to buy these traps. And then we're going to use these traps to defeat the wizards and heroes and stuff that are coming to our dungeon. Make sense? Make sense to you guys? Ish. <laughs> I think the, the relevant point is the, the cards that you draft are essentially go in onto the bottom of your deck, so you don't change the order. That's right. Um, so if you start off with high currency or high challenge rating creatures early on, they're the last creatures you're going to face in your dungeon because they're going to be at the bottom of your deck. So that, there's probably some relevance in there. Yeah. So what we'll do is, I mean, uh, you guys are familiar with draft. You take two of these, pass them around. Next person gives you their cards, take two and pass them on again. What we'll do is once we're drafted and we've had a few rounds of purchasing stuff, I'll put the camera back on again and show you a little bit of that so you can see what we're talking about. So we'll be back in a few minutes after this the draft. Is once we've finished the draft, so we've drafted our eight heroes, and these are the first eight traps that have come out. So what's going to happen is now we're going to choose two heroes from our hand, and we're going to place them face down like this, in, in, so everyone's chosen. And then we're going to reveal them up, and then you reveal the ones with the highest scores will get to choose first. So let's say I've got the highest um, individual hero, which is say a forty-nine. I'll say, for instance, take this trap. And then say Martin has the next highest, he'll take another one, and so on. And we'll go to all these traps are done. And then those two heroes we used, they will be face down in our dungeon. So they will be the last heroes to come to our dungeon. So you're going to think about that. And the other thing you've got to think about, you can look and see. So for example, I know what's coming. I can see what um, sort of things I'm really looking for. So for example, in my... I'm going to give my hand away now a bit. But I don't have a lot of... Most of my creatures don't take spells to kill. So I'm not going to be looking at buying spells. Because they're not going to be that useful to me. But I have quite a lot of stuff that require traps. So I'm going to be looking more at traps. That's kind of the way I look at it. Um, it might not be a great strategy. I don't know. But that seems like a useful way to go. So I'm going to choose two of these. And then I'm going to try and buy some traps. So we'll come back in a second. Once all this trap buying is finished. Okay, so this is the last round of the sort of purchasing. As you can see, these are the traps I've bought. I've got a couple of traps. I've got a gener uh, sort of multi-use one. And I've got a few minions. These are my last two heroes. Let me show you what they are. 
So I have no choice, but I'm going to use them. These are what's available to buy this round. So we got three traps, two minions, two spells, and then one that allows us to chicken out for a turn. So everyone's chosen the last two heroes. We have no choice. So now we flip them over. So I've got a 38 and a 28. One and five. One and five. 13 and three. 12 and 20. 20. So, I'm going to get the first two purchases, it looks like. Because I've got a 38 and a 28. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, my 38 is going to be first. So, he goes on top of my dungeon. And then I get to purchase first. Now, I know that he's going to be the second hero out. And he requires traps or spells to get rid of him. But anything that I use to fight him with is going to be destroyed. So, ideally, I want a high trap or a high spell. And then this ranger is going to be the first one out. So, I think I'm going to take that trap, I think. And I'm going to add that to my tableau. And then it goes to the next highest, which is my ranger. She'll go on top of my Wii. And then I'm going to take... Oh, man. Just for interest's sake, these numbers at the bottom here, they kind of dictate how good or bad a card is, in case you can't tell, so zero is obviously rubbish, five is pretty good. Um, I'm going to take this big ass minion. Right, that's me set up and ready to go, who's next? Carlo with a 20. Oh, um, Carlo's got loads of spells and a few traps. Pretty hard. Who's off the collar? Me. See, my problem is they're both wizards. Ah, uh, what are they doing again? They trash stuff. Trash a defense before striking. <laughs> oh, that's really bad. <laughs> yeah, hence I was saying, oh god, that's really bad. Yeah. <laughs> <It's too laughs> okay, I think. I don't know, I think it's gonna have to be this one. Another spell. I don't really see that I can. Okay, so flip Just over the screen. Quick look at that. Currently, on redraw. I think I'm going to take the spell. Screw it. Okay, and then it's Carla again. Me. I've really worked myself to a corner. Yeah. Uh, there's one that I don't think I can defeat in my uh, my group. Let's just hope he's low down. Or maybe you should take this goblin to send him to the bottom. Yeah, uh, that wasn't explained, by the way, but uh, the winner is the person that's left alive <laughs> yeah. the longest. So it doesn't matter if there's things in your deck that you can't kill. As long as you outlive everybody else, that's fine. And so, we are going to die. So what does he do? He just moves it on. Yeah, so when you reveal the first, or the hero, mm. and you can't defeat that hero, you can spend that to send the hero to the bottom and then redraw the next hero. So that gives... means one less trap, though. Yeah, yeah, and or, but it does mean you you can potentially get a hero out that Delay. you can defeat. Delaying yeah. the inevitable, but that's fine. Outliving other people is better. Yes, the heroes feel sated once they've killed the three of you. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh man, this is hard. I think. In theory, those top three cards are better than this bottom card, apparently. Well, it is, because they actually kill, whereas that does not. It just delays. All low damage, though. You're going to get that goblin, aren't you? I've already got one. I know, but you love goblins. I do love goblins. <laughs> I don't know, I think I might have to take him. Because I don't don't remember what his... What's Order. them is. Well, Not his order, just how strong he is. If he's a three, then that might be okay for me. <laughs> so you're going to take him, yeah? Oh, what was it? I don't, I don't remember. I, don't remember. I, don't I, I think it's like a berserker one. or something, and it, it, it has to be defeated by the symbol. Mm. You know what, Stafford? I'm going to take... Just give me the goblin, because I can't reach. <laughs> I would have taken that because it's good to trash for the wizards as well. Okay. Go ahead, Milo. Your teeth. <coughs> My teeth. Uh, I will take. Oh, that is a hard decision actually. 
It's between the three of you, two of you now. They're all much for muchness, really. Yeah, they're both. It amuses me that the first thief total strike must equal armor value, and he's got nothing that does four damage. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. Literally not one thing, so it's going to hit it twice. That, that uh, at least full damage. No, has to equal it. Yep. So that will do one, two, five. By well, you taking that, that's made that stronger, so they've got the <laughs> It's fine, it'll be fine. Fair enough, flip it over. Okay, so that is... Your five, and then Martin, you get to choose one of these remaining. You want minion or trap? I think I'll take the trap. And that is you with the minion. And there you go. So that phase of the game is finished. So now we work out a first player. And then that first player will reveal the first hero. And he has to defeat them. And then we'll go round and round until there's only one player left. Or actually people defeat the dungeon, which is incredible. So there you go. Not going to happen. Not in mine anyway. You can do a quick look at the quick reference. Right, so we'll start it off and then we'll come back to you with a live gameplay turn or a live. Okay, so we've had one full rotation already um, with our first heroes out the door. I am the first player, so I've got the Dark Tower. So this is how it works you reveal your hero. I have a Berserker who has a defense of six and he can only be defeated by spells or traps. And anything I do use to fight him is going to be trashed. Trashed. So, this, could, this actually could be really bad. So, I'm going to use this. So, that'll do four. And I suppose I'll use this, which will trash both of them. And I'm going to be in real big trouble. But, so, I'm going to use this for four. This is going to trash anyway, but he will trash that. And then I'm going to use this one, I think. Because I can't use anything else. So, this would normally rotate because it's got one more use out of it but unfortunately he destroys it so both of those are destroyed but he is defeated and he goes to my defeated part and then we go to Molo I have a thief and I'm going to defeat him with this card as I get a plus one for every other trap and there's no only one left making a total of four which is precisely the amount yeah thieves need to be defeated exactly so he's defeated mm -hmm. God another freaking wizard <laughs> so wizards obviously destroy a trap before you get to do anything with them yes it does I think I'm gonna I'll trash that and then I'll kill the wizard with that okay Carla oh, Jesus <laughs> I've got a knight so knights, one thing we like, you can only, when you use a trap, you can only rotate it once. You can't rotate it multiple times to do the same damage. But a knight allows you to do that. And they're generally vulnerable to everything, but they have quite high defense. Quite high? <laughs> so I'm going to do one, five, six, seven, eight. Alright, that's him toast. That's background to me. <coughs> one of our gods. I've got a halfling. So he's only got an armor of one, but he must be defeated twice, and he's vulnerable to spell uh, traps and minions. So um, I'm going to use this trap here, which is one. So that'll defeat him the first time. Uh, you can then, use the same one again, can't you, on that one? Uh, yeah, I think so because yeah. it's a tw uh, yeah. second go. But I'm going to use this minion for the second go, and that defeats him. Okay. Next up, we have the wizard. Um, and we are just going to send her back to school with the goblin. Okay, so just explain what the goblin does. The goblin okay. allows you to... Put the current hero at the bottom of your pile and redraw. Yep. So, he goes to the bottom and then what you got instead? Hopefully something not bad. I bet you it's oh, another wizard. Okay, <laughs> I can defeat with multiples and he can take some fire up his firing area. <laughs> um, let's see now, we'll go one fire. So that's, that's two fire. Yep. Mine's Three, six. Okay. Okay, he's defeated. He is defeated. Oh my god. Holy shit. A five thief. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll go that and that. I don't think we can do that. Ooh, hang on. I 
might just to show you like the thief has to be defeated by exactly five what that means is you can't go over the... I'll, I'll do that instead yeah. so that's three plus one for each other spell I have okay so that's five. So five so he's defeated as you can see we're running short on traps and stuff now Ooh, yeah what have you got a ranger mm. oh, a seven as well good Try to remember what's next, <laughs> so I don't use all of the. <laughs> but I can't remember. Um. Crap. Yeah. Mm. Well, okay, so I'm gonna do a four, mm -hmm. and then a five, six, seven. Okay. So. Oh, yeah, just... Toast. Then comes back around to me. So that's two full rotations we've done. No one died in that spell so maybe i should have formed a round or two later that's getting <laughs> close though yeah I mean. well let's see what i've got i've got a knight oh nice and easy all right so we'll be back at the end of the game when uh, i've defeated all my heroes mm. okay so we finished off the game <laughs> it was one spectacular round where carla revealed a thief that could only be defeated mm. by a five spell and she didn't have it so the thief ran in and stole her heart yeah i had Lots of spells, yeah, just not, couldn't make up not a five. five. She made up more than five or less than five, so it didn't work. And I was laughing at her, pointing at her, <laughs> thinking, ha ha. And then a thief came up, who can only be defeated by minions for a four. And for some strange reason, I couldn't make up a four. I had seven <laughs> same, or same six. Situation. Yeah, same situation, so the thief beat me up as well. So both of us died in quick succession. Milo had one <laughs> trap left, which was a one 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 minion. Yep. And uh, revealed the Berserker, which just ran over those minions and <laughs> killed him. So that left Martin on his own. Uh, and uh, he had... And a ranger turned up, which I killed him. He did, yeah, he killed him. He didn't need to either because he won because all three yeah. of us died. However, I'd have been completely defenseless for the next two, but it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't. You lasted longer than everyone else, and that's what counts <laughs> for victory. It's all that counts. I only had two more cards left. I had a wizard and a berserker, and they only needed minions. So this trap was absolutely useless. But I could have used it with this thing. But alas, that is that. Okay, so the game is done. Uh, it was pretty quick. I mean, what did we play? Even with the filming? 20 minutes, uh, 20 minutes yeah. So let's have a quick chat. What did you think, Milo? I, I don't mind it. It's a solid, quick little game, you know. Really quick little filler. Any other, any other comments? Um, I... I I do like the sort of the mechanism of defeating monsters where you're taking down your traps. You're, you're essentially just dripping away your chances of winning. <laughs> and just then, hoping yeah. everyone else dies in the turn before you. <laughs> trying to memorise that set and what's perfect for it while trying to grab stuff with it. It was nice. Fair enough. How much would you give it out of ten? Uh, probably about seven, I think, for this one. All right, fair enough. How about you, Mott? Yeah, I think it's decent. I It kind of gives you a feel of like dungeon lords and welcome to the dungeon that sort of thing it's that sort of same feel and like you said before a kind of a similar mechanism to for sale although i don't know why but i think i slightly prefer for sale i'm not really sure what it is about it but i think this is decent you know it's, it does what it aims to filler kind of thing yeah really quick um, i think it's a uh, i think it's about a six out of ten yeah, fine. Yeah, not a problem. How about you, Carla? I like it. I think um, it's quite deceptive in terms of when you play. You think it's going to take much longer than what it should, but this last section it goes very, very quickly, and you think you're fine until you just oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I mean, the the end round is a little bit, a little bit kind of like Galaxy Trucker, kind of mm. a bit prescribed where you. I mean, your decision is which trap do I use, but basically it's just like, this is what's happening. And yeah. sometimes you don't even have a choice. So that's why I would say it's, I mean, that's why it runs quickly because it's almost on autopilot. But, yeah, but you, all your decisions were made earlier. Yeah. You know, you're all, every single choice, every time you, you chose one of the, the cards, these ones, you decided to put it in your deck. However... The, the order you put them in is all trying to get the traps yeah. that you're going to get. The, the, the flip side of that is I chose specifically like, holy crap, I really want first pick in this. Mm. Choose my highest guy and I ended up fifth. 
Yeah. yeah, which isn't that helpful, you know. I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to get first pick here, and I end up fifth pick. So, so that, that's kind of in for sale. That reminds me of that as well, where you you put in your like uh, your big fifteen, you know, you've got like a brick house or something, and you mm. put it in thinking, oh, this is going to give me a, a good money, and then someone else has put in a mansion and a floating mm. island, and and then you 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 put in your biggest one, and you've you've earned, you you get the shittest money. Mm. So that, that's why it kind of reminds me of For Sale in that regard. You've got the two phases of the game, and uh, it has a similar sort of feel. You know, like, ah, oh, I'm just quickly playing the card. Uh. Mm. But yeah, I agree with you guys. I think it's it's pretty fast, 15, 20 minute game. It's decent artwork, mm. really quickly. Oh, yeah, it's cutesy. Sort of. Yeah, um, there's a few decisions to make. I mean, I, like I showed you guys, you're looking at the traps that you need. So like, I wasn't picking up a lot of spells, because I didn't have a lot of spells in my dungeon. Um, so there's some thought there. Um, yeah, I think I'd give it a 6.5. There's some expansions as well that I haven't tried yet. You got one here we call the Dastardly Dragons and Gnome Illusions, Illusionist. <laughs> so I think this adds some new heroes, uh, things like that. And then you also have um, interactive defenses and flexible defenses, which gives you different types of defenses. Now I believe if you order through Barn from the CCG, um, these come with the base game. I think. Don't quote me on that. You can contact him via his Facebook page and he'll he'll let you know more That's about the that. CCG and board game social, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> I just say CCG because I'm clearly going to get it wrong. Uh, but yeah, I thought that was pretty good. Nice little fun filler game. Um, Carla didn't score it, by the way. Oh, yeah. How much did... No, I don't score them because I, I, I don't... It's eight or two. It is eight or two with me. And I, I don't mind having this in my collection. This is something I would take out and play. Quite regularly, I think. Um, I like it at the end of a heavy game. This breaks it up. Or at the beginning of a game uh, game evening, it kind of warms you up to kind of, you know, get your brain going. So I, I like this. And I love the theme. It's kind of cutesy, but it still has... And it's the cutesy is kind of um, contradictory to the theme because it's quite, it's quite harsh. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't, I've yet to see anybody actually beat the dungeon. It's... It's I'm, hard. I don't even know if it's possible. Yeah. No, I'm not sure it is either. Well, you you need to have one trap kill one mm. thing every time. Yeah, and sometimes the traps themselves make mm. you spend other traps. But, but, I mean, it's probably not impossible. It's just you would have to be very lucky. Uh, but it has a little combination of um, sort of dungeon, little small dungeon lords mm. and uh, for sale. So I think it's pretty good. If you have for sale or dungeon lords, oh, not, maybe not dungeon lords, but if you have for sale, you probably don't need this. Yeah, it's like one eighth of the length of dungeon mm. lords. For <laughs> yeah. Unless you like me and prefer the theme. Yeah, I think I prefer the theme as well, although I like for sale as well. So, but because we got this, there's no need to get for sale. So I think it's pretty cool. Thematics wise as well, kind of, um, what's the. Boss Monster, I think, is the the mm. other game where you build a dungeon, the, the filler game. Yeah. I don't know. You got that, don't you? I don't have Boss Monster. No, I have that one you hated, the um, Pixel Glory. Oh, Pixel Glory, glory yeah. <laughs> that was rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> Two reviews in one there. <laughs> cool. Well, I'm going to just say you said seven, yeah? No. <laughs> I don't rate them. It's not, it's not fair, because I can't... I either like a game or I don't. There's no, if I say I like it, I will play it and I will play it repeatedly. It's just not. Okay, seven it is. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. And uh, if you like what you saw, go check out Dark Dealings online.